Run, Roach. Run! There you go. Let's okay. Go. Ooh, the the handling of this is crazy. Come on, Roach. I'm not used to. Okay, there you go. So right now we're just following Yesimir because, well, we're War's trying to find exactly Yennefer. Going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Wow, beautiful sun. Going. Help me. Oh no. I smell trouble already. I'm not even surprised. What is that? What is that thing? A bird? And it's eating a horse. Oh no. Wow. He took a good swing at that. Yes, Amir, are you okay? Oh, this bird is trouble. I can tell. Oh, not the horse. I mean, it's dead already, but still. That is crazy. Oh, oh no, you're injured. Yes, Amir, are you okay? How's it gone? Oh. Yeah. Come out. Oh, we have a survivor here. Look at that. Are you okay, sir? Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. No, you didn't ask to be saved. No, we're good. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But mm. there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. This Okay. The inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. Barely. But sure. Use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Vesemir, you're bleeding from your shoulder. Like, of course you need some help. You know? Greetings. Alright, well, be safe. Get out of here. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave uh, your gosh. comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll go, be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. That is and not too. comforting. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Populated areas, you're nearing a village, don't disturb the peace. Remember, the town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate thief, and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. Good to know, thank you, Witcher 3. I love the 
tutorials this game has. Look at the geese! Oh, how cute! And we got someone crying over there. Let me mind my business, though. I'm just here to get some beer. Yes, a nice Zoe mug of some beer. Thank you, Maiden. I appreciate it. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Wow. The war is causing so much trouble for people. Morality is low. They're pissed off at each other. They can't even live correctly without having to look behind their backs every so often. And look. Had to bring down that shield in her own place of business. Crazy. Question is. Witches. Will these people give us trouble? Let's see what happens. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. So then leave, asshole. What the hell? They're minding their business. Stop talking junk. For those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Yeah, we met one mm -hmm. a couple minutes Already back. Had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? He's alive. alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? All right, so dialogue shops, options marked, will open the shop piano. Looking for a woman, raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. All right, yeah, thanks. Especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Dialogue options marked will end the conversation. Okay, well, how about this? Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink. And a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. I agree. I agree. In fact, I have this motto that I like to uh, live by. Don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. And so far, I've been good. I've been good. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. What? So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Oh, we too need to be fed too, but you know. Thanks for everything. Appreciate the food and drinks on the house, my fair lady. So we gotta ask random ass people, huh? All right. Help you bandage that up? Please, I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Vesemir, we already are just by us being here. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. <sighs> Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Anyways, who can I ask day? without being harassed? Once more, there are four factions. Four oh, look, factions. a kitty cat! Bendito. Alright, I'll ask him. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. She's not like, like everyone. everyone. And not just any woman. 
Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Basically a hot topic emo. She's a hot topic emo. Fine, I'll have a drink. As long as you're paying. Cut to the chase. You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. <gasps> he has, he knows. Oh, he has and he knows. All right, tell Never me. mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Okay, so how, how do you know you her? Know Yennefer? What a question. Mm -hmm. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. Oh, he knows me too. The Butcher of Blaviken. The Butcher? You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Oh, oh, look at that. Look at the second option. Of course it's about love. And you know, knowing me, Guessed I'm it. picking that one. It's love. I knew it at once. Okay. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? Mm. At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Lilac? Yes. Oh, no. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Appreciate that, fam. Thank you. Huh. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I didn't even need to talk or harass other people. Why is that cat acting weird with me? Relax. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Gray shades. It used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. A hundred years? Geralt is a hundred years? Holy cow, that's crazy. See you later, Vesemir. So, you mean to tell me, as a witcher, not only do you age slowly, but somehow you have, what, more of a life expectancy? Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Alright, time for me to leave. Done what? Thinking. What you want? Mm -hmm. Then fuck off! <laughs> what? I don't want your kind here. My kind? I didn't even bother you. Why are you harassing me? Options marked will make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversion, sorry, a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had really? a bag over my head and my hands tied behind. No. Actually, no, not even then. Exactly. Jen, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man really? Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's go. Let's go. You guys are going to get all my hands. And now that I've beaten up three people, everyone's running away, everyone's screaming, everyone is just being scared. 
but honestly, y'all yeah, asked for that. I hate that. I was just trying to get a drink, Faster. ask one person a question, and this whole town likes to go and... Your game state will be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers. Go, go. Oh, so basically New Haven, Connecticut. That's cool. All right, on my way. Let's go. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I'm not a local. I look like a local to you. I'm a you witcher. Look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Yeah, so let me through. Because I know you guys need me. Suck with in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Oh, look at these guards puffing up their chest. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Anyways. You hear them talking? I don't know what language it is, but... Obviously, they need me more than I need them, so I'm gonna see what's up. Craftsmen can craft a variety of items for you, for a small fee, of course. Blacksmiths forge weapons. Armorers make armor. If you find a crafting diagram, take it to a craftsman of the right type and skill level to have them craft the item for you. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Wow. Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I what a humble the man. man. and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Wow, you're very observant. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Since when? Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. I know it. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. I knew it. I knew they need help with the griffin situation. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already. Including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle. No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. Aw, he complimented us. That's so cool. It's a deal. A professional, Some wow. questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Wow. Savagely torn then, apart. The griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin. Knowledge it is sucks. power. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. 
helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Define strange. Like, what do you mean? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? Mm -hmm. I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. Growled. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Cut it out with your Go sarcasm. To Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Okay, well, thank you for your help. Appreciate Tomira it. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Great. If you currently quest... If, sorry, I can't read today. I don't know why. If your current quest has more than one objective... You can choose which objective is tracked by pressing R3. Nice. Okay, I'm really excited. And yeah, I'm a little bit awkward with the controls because I'm not used to it yet. Uh, what should I do? The herbalist. I'll do the herbalist. Let's go. Let's go get some drugs, you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Who needs my help? Should I? Should I stop and help this guy? Let me see what he wants. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Your what? Less moaning, more details. What happened? And how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. He is well, so sad that he has to pay. I was on my way <laughs> to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Not the slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. Wow, someone no ate the my horse. Goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you. I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Wow, not the slurping of the horse. When one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear on the left side of the screen. If you are not currently tracking the updated quest, you can press R3 to start tracking it. Alright. Let's go. Let's go do the precious cargo. Poor man. This guy is so spooked. And these soldiers, they're not going to do anything about it. Alright. Using my Witcher senses, I can sense the trail. Car tracks. Rode off into the swamp. Oh my goodness. So this is where it happens, huh? And hey, you know I love to loot, you guys, so don't don't judge me. Alright, I see three little sounds. Question is, am I walking into a potential trap? What's this? Huh. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Right here? Hey, it's burning. Oh, okay. That's what I get for being stupid. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Oh, snap. Hold on. Let me go and get on my shield just in case. A drowner? Oh, Come here. Get your ass over here. There you go. There you go. Come on. Right off of their head. Is there another drowner? Come here. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So now that I got rid of those two. Wow, there's the horse, right? And the cheese. The cheese is ruined. 
And I'm looting everything, because you know what? I'm taking all of it. So all for grabs. Okay. W what is this? What am I... Is that a drowner over there? Wait, what's this? What am I seeing? Oh. Oh, I got I got stung by a bee for being nosy. Horrible. Okay, so I gotta find Gotta find this here. No, I'm not gonna explode that. I've learned my lesson for being dumb. I've got some water here. What's this? Diamond dust? Okay. Nice. Some arrows. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. I still haven't Carts found the little box, arrows. though. Alright, so where's the little box? Oh, I see a dead body. Square How awkward. Neck. Good shot. Either hmm. the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. So, the merchant, uh... I don't think it's the actual An merchant. Arrow. Didn't mention this. I think the person that we talked to was the thief who actually attacked the horse and this merchant. And during the attack, the drowners came out and started to attack them back due to the noise and the commotion. So, mid-run, he probably must have dropped the box, and now he's hovering and cowering like a coward. Wow. Alright, so where is this little box, though? If that was a box, where would I be? Hmm? Is it here? Ooh, I got a monster heart. Awesome. I'm so happy. Show me what you got. Come on, fool. You suck. There you go. There you go. Okay, anyways. If I was the box, where would I be? Must oh. be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Aha! That's my theory. The merchant we talked to is not the actual merchant. A Fugazi merchant. He's actually the real thief. To have your horse come to you, double press R3. Thank you, but I'm good. I gotta see what's going on here. The tea. The tea is hot with this one. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. So explain no yourself. No in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. You. Watch out! Behind you! No, I'm not falling for that. There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. And Best you're running you're away. A writer than you are a liar. Look at him running away. What? Come on, horsey. Up. Uh, where you at? Where's the horse? I gotta chase this guy down because honestly, he's not getting away. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? He ran off? Oh, come on. Just because I didn't have Oops. enough time. Pathetic. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him one of these days. Watch. Come on now. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.